Warm greetings everyone, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga 1200 this time, so the AGA chipset. And we're going to be looking at PGA European Tour, published by EA in 1994. That's the sequel, sort of, of PGA Tour, which we reviewed a few weeks ago, which came out in 1991. This is sort of like um, that and a bit extra. You get five courses from across Europe and you're up against 60 pro uh, golfers in a tournament and you must win the whole tournament. So how will I be at this? I don't know. Right, options. That's a good start. Stats. Uh, game also come out on the Sega Genesis and a Mega Drive and the SNES. It'll be interesting to see that at some point. Tournament. You can see there's Skins Challenge and some others. Uh, number of players, one. Why would I want to do none? Anyway, one. Uh, when we reviewed PGA Tour, I went round with Gumpfer, the computer man. But this time I'll just go round on my own and we'll try and do the first nine holes. We shall probably go on for a bit. So, hooray. Now, here's all your golf clubs. Um, you can change them if you want to, but we'll stick with that natural selection. And here's the choice of golfing events. So, West Wentworth Club, Forest of Arden, uh, Cran Sourcier, uh, Le Golf National, my pronunciation is probably brilliant, and Val d'Arama. Let's go for Val d'Arama, I've heard of that. Hooray! So yeah, because um, it's the AGA chipset, uh, the graphics should be um, a lot better than PGA Tour Golf in 1991. I'll edit some of the loading times down so we don't have to wait quite as long. So there's Valderrama, all 18 holes. Hopefully uh, I'll do okay here. Uh, blustery wins, be wary of that. Now, on most golfing games, putting seems to let me down. I understand there's a similar control system on this to the PGA Tour Golf, so it's a free click method. Uh, hit the uh, mouse button at the top of the swing and then um, hit it when you want to uh, hit the ball. And it's all about timing. If you don't get the timing wrong, it'll be a hook or a slice. So total, total purse, £863,000, which are coming blooming handy at the moment, I can tell you. So there's the championship. Wayne Westner's winning at the moment. But uh, let's see if I can threaten him, which I very much doubt. Have you had this one back in the day? Let me know. So here we go. So the graphics are a lot better than the first one straight away. Here's some bird sounds. There's the map. So quite straightforward. We need to knock it down there, 389 yards. It seems to select the best club automatically. There we go. Fire button. Now, now that's going to be a slice in one direction, I think. Because you can see by that white bit, we have to try and stop it dead on. And we're into the light rough. Well, at least it isn't the full rough. So it's a timing thing like all golf games, and this looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? You can change the way your, um, as we've gone so far, your stance. Uh, change your club if you want to by clicking on that. Uh, look at the wind, try and make a course correction for there, and using the map, try and change the direction ever so slightly if you see fit. There's the ball lie there in the top left. Click. Now bang on that line. Oh, that's dead on. That's dead on. Well, this is going to be a good one. Land on the green. Oops, that's not a good view. Yeah, so you've got to try and estimate how far the club can go. I've knocked that 132 yards when I went about 120. So look, distance 17 yards. There's the green there. We're quite close. If I can get it in from here, it'd be an absolute miracle. Try and guess the way the ball's going to roll on the putting green, and then you're good. This game looks brilliant. I think I would have played it quite a lot back in the day. Right, okay, so 29 yards you can see is the maximum it can go on there. We need 17 yards, so try and estimate there. And the wind is against us at 16 miles an hour, which is quite strong. But it is fluctuating about there. That looks good to me. Oh, it's drifting off to one side. 17 yards, we looked it five yards too far. And we got this putt. Now, whenever you're on the green, it tells you this. Valderrama doesn't look too bad in time, terms of um, uh, the green so far. Doesn't look like there's too much water. You can um, do a bit of a challenge if you want to. But if I had this back in the day with five courses available, I think it would have eaten up quite a lot of time. I would have spent a lot of time on this. I was mainly into Micropro's Golf, but I can see already this is quite a bit better graphically um, there. Right, well there's the Amiga 1200 for you. It's a blooming good machine. Right, so, um, 16 feet, this goes 25, By that, click that arrow, arrow on the golfer, select your shot, now it's all about the power, right? Click, that's slightly more, oh, look at that, oh man, yeah, see, if I, that would have gone in, that would have gone in, if I timed that right on the downswing, that would have been a lot better. So, I think this is going to be a bogey, isn't it, how many are we over, are we one over? Uh, par 4, this is stroke 5, this goes in, we're 1 over for a bogey, which could have been worse. Please go in. Uh, it's in, right. The crowd clap, thank you, crowd. 
Roger Davies just scored a birdie. So this uh, news fella, just like the first game, will tell you what's going on on the rest of the tournament. So one over par. That wasn't a bad little start, really. Next hole is 400 yards, you can see there. If I can get a par on any of these, it'd be an absolute miracle. But it controls quite well, and it doesn't look like it take too long before you're actually perfecting it. You, you never know, I might perfect it in the course of this review. Uh, it's the first time I've played it. Uh, these reviews are always about, as a kid, uh, if you played it, would there been enough there for you to want to go back and play it again? Uh, and already I can see that there would be, because it just looks so nice and it plays so well. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. How do I get out of that? So you can go to the PG Tour tent, or you can do a new course if you want. Oh man, don't say I've done something silly. I've done something silly, how do I get out of here? Maybe I can go back to the Tour tent or something and back again. I don't want to abandon this. Mind you though, I've only got a bogey, haven't I? Plus one. Oops. Oh man. Yeah, where's the instructions? I need the instructor shans. Right, the Tour well, it's going somewhere. Hopefully it's not um, reloading everything. There's a strong wind today, 11 miles an hour. Right, we're back here again. Um, resume um, tournament. No, I don't want to. Don't want to do that. I think there was yeah. Resume games down the bottom there. I think. Click on that. We should go back to where we were. So don't do that again, Nick. Right. So let's click here for the map. It's a bit of a dog leg. Um, might be uh, interesting to change the position rather than going straight to the hole. Let's put the arrow here because that's where we're going to aim towards. Otherwise, we might end up in the rough, unless I can hit it about a kilometre or something. Right, here we go. The wind's going to blow at 10 miles an hour slow. Oh, look at that. It's fluctuating wildly. Right. Boof. Go on, get it on the line. That's not too bad. It's going a bit to the left, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, in the rough again. If only I could somehow try and keep it on the fairway. That must be what I'm trying to aim for, I think. Right, so we've got round the corner. It's not too bad. I don't think um, our range is going to be hindered too much there. A nice approach shot, and maybe we can par the thing. 150 yards the maximum goes, 146. Uh, there's a bit of a wind with us as well, so I might have to make an allowance of that. Let's change the direction there. It's going a bit to the right there, the wind. Okay. Oh, that might be a bit much, Nick. That might be a bit much. Oh, look at that. It's going, that was, it's going somewhere completely different. Oops, I've read that wrong. Well, the sand helped us there. That stopped it from going away. That was a terrible shot. So we've had two shots so far, but it can still be rescued despite our adventurous route to the hole. With a nice chip here with a sand wedge. It could do 60. We only want 40. With a nice chip to the sand wedge, maybe we can have a putt. Because we know my putting is normally brilliant. Now, unlike the first game, you can see there a shot that says blast. Oh no, I've gone from one sand pit to the other. Um, go says blast there. You can alter that to do special shots if you want, which include draws and fades and all that sort of stuff. So if you're really into golf, get a bit of an expert on it, you're there. This is to par the thing. This is going to be take an absolute miracle. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, well, it's a good approach shot, I suppose. Right, this is for a bogey. We bogeyed the first hole. Looks like we might bogey the second one. Or we might we might even double bogey. If we go three over, I don't think there's a word for that. I don't think there's such thing as a triple bogey, is there? Comment below if you've got a triple bogey. Right. Go in. Go in. Oh, God. Tony Johnson just scored a birdie on hole 17. Well, well done him. I'm not jealous at all. I'm not jealous at all. So if you're looking for an Amiga, um, well, if you're looking for an Amiga game, this is one. But if you're looking for a good golf game, then this is the best one I've played so far. I really like PGA Tour Golf, but this uh, this just adds an extra dimension to the thing. Really adds on that. Kept the same engine, which is good. A few extra uh, graphics here on the screen. It's really on take. Colin Montgomery just scored a bogey. So these are all real players, you might uh, um, know. Um, PGA Tour Golf had Americans and a mix of players. This one's just got all European ones. So yeah, bogey and then a double bogey. So we're getting gradually worse. Next hole is a par three. Doesn't look like the experts give you any tips on these holes. Uh, PGA Tour Golf they did. So I'm currently in 56th place out of 60, which isn't great. Uh, the lead is on minus five. But at least I'm not last. Right, okay. So in theory, um, a good approach shot here and we're there. Valderrama, 181 yards. Um, right. Okay, now, the, the club can go 191 yards, 
Maybe we put it a bit to the right, perhaps, do you think? With that correct, hmm, the wind keeps changing. Yeah, it is blustery what the guy said. So Valderrama might be a tricky one. 191, we don't want the full power. If we can rest it just on there, that might be okay. Hmm, it's not quite bang on the line. The wind is correcting it slightly, I think. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, look at this. Look at this, go it. Oh, that was a brilliant shot. Costatino Rocco just scored a birdie on hole six to go two under par. Well done him. Look at that. That was almost a hole in one there. Now if I can get this in, oh, it looks harder here. If I can get this in, that'll be that'll be a birdie. Now that ne that never happens in golf reviews for me. Right, come on, six feet. Don't mess up, Nick. Looks fairly straight green. Get ready to cheer. I'm going to be ecstatic if this goes in. Right, it's about that. Here it goes. Boom! Hooray! Excellent! And that round of applause, look at that! It's in red. It's a birdie. Really? B Sorry, I'm, I'm, I must be dreaming. A bogey, double bo bogey, then a birdie. Now, you know, with all sort of games, you start to enjoy them more, the better you get with them. Um, shallow as that may seem. But now I'm really liking this game now. I got a birdie on my first go. Um, I don't know what it does if you get a hole in one. If you've got a hole in one in this game, let us know what happens. I suppose the crowd go absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm now 51st on plus two, but I think uh, with quite a bit of practice here, I'll be a birdie in every hole, maybe. It's all about the timing of this initial drive, really. It doesn't put you in the rough. Birds are cheaping. Cheapy, cheapy, cheap, cheap. Right, there's, it looks like there's a water at the back there. It's pre-bunkers. It's all a question of really, can I get over that first bunker halfway down? Can I do this? The wind's going to blow it slightly. Oh, that's bang on that. But I didn't make any correction for the wind. Oh no, it's in the bunker. Yeah, I should have should have made a correction for the wind. The wind was always going to try and put it there. Uh, the lie isn't too bad there, if that's what it is on the left. Uh, this is a par 5, so it's not the end of the world. I think I've ruined my chances of a birdie with this. Mind you though, if I can get it there in a nice approach shot, who knows, who knows. We might be able to save this one. We're gonna give it full whack. Oh dear, that's that's hellish. <laughs> oh no, look at it go. It's gone over there. The square ball of doom, 67 yards. Hmm, can't see any wild, oh I've done it again. How do I, g oh no. Imagine if I click somewhere, click on hole maybe. Don't want to. Oh, you can save the game halfway round. That's quite good if you want to do that. So you don't have to do it all in one go. Where's an option to get out of here? Uh, here you go. So you can do a punch shot, normal shot, normal shot, and that's got out of there. Good, right. So if you do that, just click on the menu and click normal shot. So first in the bunker, then not a very impressive shot into that woods, but we're in front of the trees. We're not in the middle of the trees, so it can still be rescued. Golf, golf, golf. I haven't got um, I haven't got a caddy here. There's no golf cars. Right, full whack. Get it on the line. That's perfect. Oh, but look at the wind though. 16 miles an hour. It's going to go into that sand, is it? Splat. Yeah. I keep forgetting to make a correction for the wind. So that was that was four shots as that I've had. Or three shots. The ball is six inches above the cup, so that's above the hole. 24 yards away, which is a distance. So this, is, this is for a birdie. I've, I've seen easier birdies. But if we get this close, we might be able to par it. I mean, it's going to take some rescuing. Um, 24 yards, this can do 30. That's a hell of a hook or a slice. Yeah, that's terrible. That's gone off the green again, is it? That's that's. I think that's got me further away than before. Does that count that we're on the putting green or not? 29 feet away, that'd be a hell of a putt. We, we've got the putter out, so we're going to try and putt it from here. Yeah, I don't think it's very possible, but anyway, this is for, this is for a par, no chance. Way it goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bingo! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellente. This game is really inviting for the beginner. It really is. I played other golf games. I suppose PGA Tour Golf helped me with this. But uh, yeah, that was disastrous. And then we got a par from that. This is doable. I think I can win the tournament, you know. I really think I could do. I've had a few goes on it. Excellent. I'm loving this. I want to do all courses. If I had this back in the day, I would have been on it forever. God, the days would have gone past super fast. Right, next next hole, next hole. We're on hole five already. Uh, let's put it about there. Uh, this will be good fun as well with um, playing against two or three uh, if, you, if you're friends. Well, that'd go even longer then, wouldn't it? Go even longer. 
Right, Valderrama. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can go back to this game later on, maybe on a, on a lazy Sunday, and just talk rubbish and go around a full hole. Oh, no. So you don't talk and do your time in there. That's, yeah. Oh, I, I, I can find this sand, didn't I? Don't, can't I? I'm really good at finding sand. It does punish you, this game, though, if you don't get it bang on the line. Uh, there's not much room for manoeuvre, but get the timing right and you're grand. But we can still get round that tree. That's going to go a distance. It wasn't pl... Oh, no, where's it going now? <laughs> where's it going? Where do you go? Don't fall. I'd lose my ball all the time here. Thank goodness. Right. Oh dear. That looks a bit. That looks a bit bumpy in the middle. But a straight, a straight approach, and it just gets bumpy near the middle. We might be able to just zip that through from here. Right. So this is stroke free. This is for a birdie. Let's get it close. We might be able to rescue this. The wind's with us, so make an adjustment for that. Twenty-eight yards pitching wedge. So it's going to catch the wind. I think that's too much. Go in. Stop. Hold. No, it's gone way past, is it? Yeah, it's gone way past. Yeah, for 10 yards further than I thought I would do. Chris Tantino, Costantino Rocker's having a good game. He's gone into 8th place after a birdie. Hmm. Right, this is to par the thing. Oh, no. Mind you, though, it's sloping one way, sloping another. I think that might cancel its, itself out there. 33 foot putt. Well, I had, I've done some good rescuing putts before. Let's see now. This is for a. This is for par. Concentrate here. Concentrate. I, I, I think it's doable. Straight. Is it going to do it? Hooray! Oh, I'm a putting genius on this, and we're getting a replay as well because it's such a good putt. Well, enjoy it. Normally, as I say, normally putting is my downfall on this, but it really is good. I think I've been a bit lucky that the greens on Valderrama seem to be quite flat. So birdie, par and par. And then we've got another par three. Potential hole in one. Good, good. So bogey and double bogey to start with when I'm just finding my feet, really. Go, go, go. Right, so I'm in 50th place now after all that. So I'm gradually moving on up. Moving on up. Time to break free. Nothing can stop me. Do, 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 do. M people. Da, 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 da. I wish I put my surname in now. All these guys have got surnames. I didn't put my surname in. Right, hole six. We're going to do nine holes, I think, on this one. But the time is tootling past at an amazing rate. 163 yards. I'm doing a five iron. Possibly I could change that, but no, I won't. Maybe a, maybe a six iron would be better. But anyway, I'll change I'll keep it on that. Try and stop it before... Right, so that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. It's drifting to the right. Is it going to get on the green? Stay on the green. Yeah, good. So if I can keep it on the green, and the green is quite flat, I've always got a chance with this game of getting it in, at least at Valderrama. I don't know where Valderrama is. Is it in Spain? Right, this is for a birdie. Hmm. Green is maybe not quite as flat as I would like it. We're a bit higher up. We're 24 inches above the cup. So that's the that's the gradient going down from here to the hole. So it might pick up a bit of speed going down. If it's below, you give it a bit of an extra whack. Yeah, shall we do some correction or not? That's just so 35. We need 24. I think that's too much, Nikki. That might be too much. No, it's drifting to the left. Yeah, I hit it too hard and it drift, well, drift to the right, I should say. I hit it too hard, drift to the right. I should have made a correction there. Didn't read the green. Didn't read the green as good as I should do. Wayne Westner's having a, having a brilliant one. He's leading the race. Right, now. I don't think it's that far away, is it? So it's not exactly a gimme, but this is to hold par. Catherine Parr, married to Henry VIII. Oh no, that's a disaster. The crowd are disappointed. So from the possibility of a birdie, I've gone one over again. It's a bogey. Oh, bogey's back. Bogey's back. So I'm probably going to drop further in the championship then out of the 60. Crowd politely applaud, but I think they're disappointed in me. So one over, 26. Uh, next is a par four. So three par fours to finish on. Let's do this thing. Uh, I haven't got an eagle at all. Uh, 53rd, plus 3 over. Uh, the lead is on minus 6, so 6 under. 
and he's got a bit of a distance there. Uh, the course seems fairly straightforward in Valderrama. Um, it looks like the main thing to avoid is bunkers. Doesn't seem to be a lot of water, at least. Some of the other courses would have that. So if you're interested in, in, in uh, water on your golf course, there we go. But if the ball goes in the water, you have to take a drop shot and you lose something. Driver, which picks, keep the driver going. Click, click. Now it's important to get a good drive. That wasn't perfect by me, but I think the wind's correcting it slightly. Stay on. Ah. Oh. Wind didn't correct it enough. It, it, it saved it from going in the trees, though, so I'm thankful of that. I'm only in the light rough. 193 yards of the pin. This can do about 194. A couple of bunkers in the way of that. It's just going to be um, luck if I get over or not, I think. I can weave between the two. Yeah, it looks like there's space there. There's a bunker there hidden there, which I can't quite see. Uh, we're hitting the ball into the wind slightly 10 miles an hour it's gonna now it's yeah this wind is blustery it's a very difficult day to play golf i will say that much giving it practically full whack now when it lands it's gonna have to stick stick hold 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 no it's gone out the other side yeah, it's very very difficult to hold that. Um, if you hit it any shorter, it would have ended up in the sand. Ball is two inches above the cup, so it's not sloping too much to the hole. Nine iron. Oh, look, you can change your foot in there. I won't bother with that. I won't complicate it by changing my foot in. That, that uh, helps if you want to do a draw or fade shot or want to get complicated with the thing. But I just do normal. It's going to be a chip shot. Uh, this is for a birdie, so I'm going to chip it straight in the hole. That'd be great. That wasn't a bad effort, but the ball seems to be rolling a bit further than I wanted it. 13 yards. We needed 10, it went 13. I think it's a bit of a downward slope there. Yeah, mm. that looks flat as a pancake. Flat as a pancake. So, you know, potentially we could could get the par here. That might be too much. Ooh. So a couple of boo-boos. After I got all um, excited about my good putting, I had a couple of boo-boos in a few holes. So you've got to keep your concentration in golf. Sometimes it can all be going your own way, and other times it can be going absolutely disastrous. Oh God, I thought I was going to miss then. The crowd were doing ooh, and it got sucked in like a black hole. Yeah, so a couple of bogeys there. We're going backwards. We're going backwards in the skills. It's been a mix round here as we go on to hole eight. Where does that put me in the championship, folks? 57th out of 60. Mm. He's losing it. He's losing it. Um, I, I prefer the 19th hole where all the alcohol takes place. So, um, I know how you get out of this. So, you know, hopefully by watching this, you, if you've got an Amiga or just emulation, you it's giving you a bit of an idea whether you want to track this one down. And I'd say, yes, track it down. Um, it, might, it might eat a few hours of your day, though, to be honest with you. But uh, if you've got the hours, then good. Get a beer ready or your drink of your choice. Uh, get it on the desk or the table and have a round of golf. Excellent. Think about me when you're going round. But this is one of the le lesser frustrating ones. Once you get this ready, now that's that's going to go somewhere. I oh, know. Actually, the wind might be correcting it slightly. Yeah, I'll say I did that on purpose. Yeah, that was a bit fortuitous. Without the wind there, that would have gone straight out into the heavy rough there. But that's uh, that's worked out really, really, really well. Best shot so far, I think. Fifty-six yards. This one can go seventy-one. Look at that perfect approach shot. If I can just get it over the bunker. Then boom. Eight iron can do 71 yards on here. 56 we need to try and estimate in those percentages what is 56. If you're a mass brain, you'll probably know. I'm just going to do it roughly. Get over the bunker. Has it got over? Yes. So look, we wanted 56. I haven't hit it on target, but let's just see how far it went. 58 yards. So that's a good estimate, wasn't it? Good estimate. After a few goes, get used to the wind, then I think you'll be zipping a through here as a top professional. Top professional. Going to be very rewarding this game. Very rewarding indeedy. If you have won all the tournaments, or at least one, then let me know in the comments section below how many goes did it take you. If you're used to golf games, it's feasible you might have done it on your first go. Oh, he's putting. The putting's let me down. That was for a birdie, wasn't it, really? That was for a birdie. Took a bit more time, I possibly could have done that, but let's just try and get the par then. Get back on track after all those bogeys. Get ready, crowd. 
Yay! Nice par. Thank you. Roger Chapman just scored an eagle. Oh, what a show off on hole 14 to go three under par and move into fourth place. Right, so we do one. We do one last uh, hole. We've already been playing this for a long, long time. Um, but yeah, well, I, I did intend just to do the first nine. I'm tempted to do the second nine, but we'll just do the first nine. Um, you know, uh, if, if enough people watch the video or comment, we might do um, one Sunday. We might come back and uh, as a bonus video and do a whole course, maybe. Right, what can be a nice game of golf? Let's try and end on a high here. Hole in one. I don't think a hole in one's possible on a, on a par four. I need Superman to hit it. And Superman will need to work out a little bit. Nice red t-shirt. There we go. Bang on the line. Bang on the line. That's well, that's that's a perfect. Look, the the wind was seven uh, miles an hour against, but it was dead straight, and that like that perfect. Straight down the middle. It went straight down the middle. That's what you're supposed to do as a golfer. At least I'm getting. At least I'm now getting it. Look at that. Perfection. What a textbook shot. Now, we need to get there. That's that. I don't want to hit it into the no man's land where I had it before. 442 yards is the maximum distance. We've got 180 yards to go. This can do 190 on a good day. Wind is against us. Try and estimate where you're going. Okay, now, wind is drifting ever so slightly to the left. Well, it's a lot to the left. If it stays on the green, it's going to bounce over, isn't it? Mm, it might let us use the putting uh, finger from there. But it has. We've got the putter out. Oops, and that's the that's the most wiggly wiggly green so far. Undulating green, 27 feet. If you've got 27 feet, comment below. Uh, you, you're probably a millipede or something. Right. Let's... Boof. Now a bit of luck. Bit of luck. Bit of luck. Ooh, that was so close for the birdie. And this is for par. Pretty much a gimme, I think. Oh, so I so had a couple of holes there. I could have had a birdie, a few bogeys, which I shouldn't shouldn't have happened. A few near misses. I I think I could get this. And it's in. What a great golfing game this is. Great learning curve. Uh, really inviting to the newbie if you've played a few golf games uh, before. Fantastic graphics. A great selection of courses, and uh, a, a true feeling that um, you you can do it if you put up enough practice. So a lot of good things there. So in answer to the question, would I have come back as a kid if I had this game? A hundred percent, yes. Wholly can recommend it. Probably the best golf game I've played, certainly on the Commodore Amiga. Um, Tiger Woods on the PlayStation might be a little bit better, but this this plays like a dream. Really, really like it. Track this one down. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was PGA European uh, Tour on the uh, Commodore Amiga 1200, published by EA in 1994. As I say, sort of a sequel, but not really, to PGA Tour that they did in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. If you want to help support the channel, help it grow, then please consider uh, joining. If you want to know what that's about, then click on the Join button. It doesn't uh, commit you straight away, but there's a video just detailing that a bit more so yeah thanks for watching again put some comments there if you want to discuss anything golf or retro until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye